Is CDR important for the Reaper? What of the Visioneer? What start is best? So there are many questions like this I keep getting and I decided to make this video to answer them all and help you guys understand more about stats. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I'm going to try to summarize this video as best as I can and to do that I think we should lay some ground rules to help us understand more about stats. First, I'm going to tell you guys about four important stats that you should always increase regardless of what class or what playstyle you are playing. First is your elemental attack. Every class has their own elements like a fire for blade monster and water for soul dancer. Now, this is very important, regardless of what class you play, always try or strive to increase your elemental attack. I don't think elemental defenses is that helpful right now, might be in the future, but for now elemental defenses aren't useful. So the first start is elemental attack. The second start is your physical or magic attack. Depending on the class you are using, the blade master, again as an example, is a physical class. So definitely you want to increase your physical attack, but the magic attack is useless to blade masters. Meanwhile, it's the opposite for the Soul Dancers. Soul Dancers are magic classes, so you want to increase your magic attack and forego your physical attack. The third important stats you should have are your physical and magic defenses. Except if you're thinking to play like a glass cannon that have insane damage but very low defenses and can get killed with one or two skills. Unless that's how you want to play, I think you should increase your physical and magic defense or at least always try to average them. To do this, you can always try to have constitution or physical or magic defense stats in your gears. Trust me, they give a lot of stats when you get to higher levels, so this will be helpful for you. Now, the final stats that you should always increase is your armor penetration level or AP level. Regardless of what class you play, dealing damage is the basis of Dragon Raja. So if you do not have armor penetration, you won't deal as much damage as you ought to. Just like the name says, ammo penetration, it helps you deal a little more extra damage to your opponent by ignoring their defenses. I keep getting asked, why is X player who has the same rating or lower rating than I do and is using a weaker class in this event than I am, why is he dealing more damage than me? It's probably because he has a better rotation than you or he has a better build than you or he distributed his stats properly in his class than you did. One example of this is having higher ammo penetration than you. I won't talk about these four stats again in this video because they are always important regardless of what class you use, you should always increase this. Okay. Now that we've understood these four basic stats, we'll try to break down between your CDR, which reduces your cooldown, your critical level, which deals a lot more damage, and your multi strike, which is a little more extra damage. We'll try and decide which one is best for which class. For Blade Masters, between critical CDR and multi strike, there are only two of them that are important to the Blade Master, and these are your critical level and your CDR level. The Blade Master doesn't really trigger multi strike that much, but these other two skills are insanely helpful for this class. For Gunslingers, there are actually two stats that are very important as they are intertwined to helping this class be crazy good. The first is your CDR, and the second is your critical level. The Gunslinger has a skill that lets them go invisible. And if you have a high enough CDR, you can probably spam this skill if you use it wisely. If you have a low CDR like I do, after your visibility wears off, you will still have about 8 seconds left. So the right CDR you need for your Gunslinger should be around 320 to 390,000 plus the Endless Test Draconic. If you have these two, you can probably spam your invisibility if you use wisely. Now this is also tied to your critical skill as the Gunslinger deals insane damage when it's critical. Every class does, but it's a little different for the Gunslinger as when they go invisible and use a skill, it automatically gives them a higher chance of performing critical strikes. Now you see where I say this ties with your CDR, right? If you go invisible, use a skill, you get higher chance of performing a critical skill which is more damage and it just keeps going round and round because you have a high CDR, you can keep going invisible. And I call it the invisibility spam strategy and it is deadly if used properly. The Assassin is kind of related to Gunslingers as the two skills they need, CDR 
just like the gunslinger but the difference here is they also need multi-strike not just critical the assassin has a lot of aoe attacks and it is one of the classes one of the few classes that can trigger multi-strike a lot more often now just as the gunslingers benefit from going invisible assassins benefit from entering their crystal coffin and just imagine an assassin being able to enter the crystal coffin every eight seconds instead of 20 seconds you can be almost unkillable as an assassin especially if you are a will using an assassin and have a lot of cdr trust me it's gonna be crazy now ms is also good for the assassin because they have the ability to use a lot of aoe's and trigger this a lot these are the two stats I think are very good for assassins. The Soul Dancer is the class I actually noticed Multi Strike triggering a lot for first. That being said, I think there are only two stats from these three that are helpful for the Soul Dancer. The first is Multi Strike, of course, and the second and most important is your CDR. Now, all you need as a Soul Dancer is about 390,000 CDR, a CDR Ally, Light Beacon EX, and last but not least, Endless Thirst Draconic. If you can have these things together, you will be able to spam your skills without using Vortex EX as a soul dancer. And if anyone has experienced this before in arena or battleground, trust me, you know this is scary. Fighters are a very simple class to understand. <laughs> they are the simplest of all. Uh, apart from the four I've mentioned in the beginning, just increase your critical and you're good to go. <laughs> CDR works differently for Reapers than for most other classes. Um, it doesn't really reduce the cooldown of your skills, it just helps with your hard point, which makes you be able to spam your skills a little more. Uh, it's kind of the same but different. So, for Reapers, you can actually be a very good Reaper with low CDR. I have very low CDR <laughs> and I can work around it. You just need to have the right rotation. Now, the second stat uh, that is helpful for all Reapers is critical. So, increase your critical. Have raised your CDR. The Puppeteer is almost as strategic as the Reaper in a class of its own. So, um, there are three stats I think you should increase as a Puppeteer. The Puppeteer has damage reduction skills and defense increasing skills. So, the first stat you want to have as a Puppeteer is a lot of defense. The Puppeteer with low defense isn't really a Puppeteer. <laughs> Next, you want to have a lot of critical. This will be helpful to you as pop tier as your bleeds will do a lot more damage and finally you can just average your multi strike this isn't that important but if you have a lot more stats why not phantom sound is one of the most flexible class in the game although it isn't the strongest since the illusionist and the floromancer and the visionaire came along Bruh. right now it's not that strong but it still does quite a lot of damage you can increase any of the three for the phantom sound as they are all useful to the class also it can do without any of them that's the crazy part of the phantom sound um for cdr it doesn't really need it because it has an ex that can automatically have the cooldown of any skill including other exes for even its teammate it also has a lot of multi-strike triggers which is kind of weird to be honest and it deals a lot of critical as well so any of the routes you choose to go it will be helpful for you as a phantom sound skateboarders or blade masters who are stronger <laughs> that's a story for another day but for the skateboarders there are two stats you need the first is your cdr and second is critical cdr will help you spam your skills more which will enable you go into your bow mode that is your main damage dealing state it can go into it a lot faster critical that's what you need as an illusionist just get your critical as high as you can <laughs> two stars are useful for the floromancer uh, the first is critical this is very useful and the second is kind of optional but it depends on you if you want to deal more damage and if you have a lot of stats to spare you can always increase your cdr as a floromancer this will help you deal a lot more damage but it is kind of based on rng i guess still it's quite helpful Whew. finally the visionaire <laughs> the classes just keep getting more and more so just like the flora master the visionaire doesn't really need cdr that much but if you have a lot more stats to spare you can increase cdr it doesn't really depend on multi strike as well so that's not that useful for the visionaire so what you actually need mainly for the visionaire will be your critical and it does have the talent to help you with that so if i were to say i would say first increase your critical and if you have enough to spare, you can go a little on CDR. But if you don't have enough, just focus on your critical and the other four stats I mentioned earlier on. That'll be it for all current classes at the making of this video in Dragon Raja. So I might be wrong at some of them, but if I am, you can always correct me in the comment section if you're certain that you know you know the right one. And um, yeah, I will always appreciate that. Now you might have noticed some classes 
boost certain stats. An example is the Blade Master, which gives an insane amount of boost to CDR and ammo penetration level. I don't know, if you just try switching from whatever class you are using to the Blade Master, you will notice a spike in your CDR and ammo penetration level. It's kind of crazy, but it's fun as well to see. Anyway, I will talk about that in another video. and. This will be the end for this video. If you have any add-ons for this video, any questions, comments, suggestions, or requests, please drop them down there in the comment section. I read all of them. I will respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video and live stream. As always, guys, take care.